This time around, I created a quest system for my RPG game. Let's go look at the inner workings. Alright, first of all, let's define the data structure for a quest. I need something to identify the quests from each other. So let's create an ID property. Then I will need some strings containing info about the quest to display in game. And I will need to track the quest progress somehow. Let's create a quest progress int and a bool for completed. And this is what the completed quest data structure looks like. I'm saving this as a JSON file to then access the data as a dictionary. Next, let's create the database for holding the quest data. For here, I will want to create an array of dictionaries containing the quest info and functions for starting a quest, progressing on a quest and completing a quest. Alright, so this is essentially the start of the code. It will set up the database by loading the quest database JSON file and then storing it in the quest database which will contain all of the quests. Now to create a function which will move a quest from the quest database to active quests. And next up we have the activate quest function. This is all called with the quest ID that is specific to each quest. And this will first off get the correct quest from the quest database. And if it finds the quest there, it will then add the quest to the active quest array. And then after that, we got a couple more functions for handling completion and progress again with the same quest ID. And there a little bit of UI work later, we can test it out. So now we got an open quest menu, add quest button and progress quest button. Uh, with the add quest button, we just add the basic uh, test quest there. And with progress quest, we will progress the quest here. And now we have progressed two times. We can see both of the quest description parts. Here in the code, we can go through the quest menu codes. This one is just the main menu handling the opening and closing of the menu. Then on the quest selector, we have a setup quest buttons, which will run when the menu is opened. It basically reads the quest data active quests array for all the quests and generates a button to press to then view the quest. And on the viewer side, we have a function for viewing the quest where we embed the name and description as strings. And that will just about wrap it up for the quest system. If the world hasn't ended, the link to the GitHub is down in the, the description. Oh, and watch this video about a top-down charter controller next. <laughs>